Hey, it's Alex with Private Shoe Products and Tucker. In this video, I want to show you how to install uh, the new filters in your rival cart. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, take off this hub assembly. Uh, so you can, first thing is you're going to disconnect your hose going to the bypass and also your hose going to your DI. Then you're going to take a either a 13 millimeter or a 9 16 wrench and loosen up these bolts. I've already done so. So I'm going to take here. We'll take these nuts. And, oops, or take that off. Set those aside, and then we're going to pull off this hub. Next, we're going to stick our uh, RO membrane into the housing. Before you do that, you're going to want to uh, get your packet of uh, lubricant and apply your lubricant to your permeate tubes on both ends. Carefully set that stuff aside. Make sure you get that lubricant all the way around your tubes. I'm going to set those to slide this down. It'll be easiest to uh, to put it this way with your brine seal towards the top. So simply slide this down in there. Make sure it goes in all the way. Now, uh, your system will already have uh, the lubricant on the hub, uh, but in case you're doing this uh, later down the road, um, you know, putting in new filters, you might need to reapply some lubricant on the hub. And just push it down. Make sure you get that excess seal off. All right. We got that out of the way. Let me take these off. So now we can reinstall our clamps. Make sure that you uh, put the clamps in there in the right location. Uh, it goes into the groove of the hub right here. Get your place your washer and put the nut back on.
All right. This next step is very important that uh, you put your fittings back in the right place. You want to make sure that your this is your bypass valve. The hose to that goes to the port that's off centered, and your D, your hose going to your DI is the one that's centered. If you were to inadvertently uh, flip those, uh, what would happen is that you would be uh, sending the bad water that comes from the RO directly into your DI, which would make your DI go uh, be spent quite quickly. All right, now that we have that done, I'm going to get your uh, wrench for your carbon pre-filter. Remove the hub for that. The sump excision. And simply drop this in. making sure that your O-ring is still in place. And hand tightening on both the carbon pre-filter sump and uh, the DI only requires uh, hand tightening when we install it. Next, we remove the sump for the, the DI, and we're going to drop in our cartridge with the DI resin. It's important that you stick uh, the cartridge in the right way, so the, the foam, uh, this ring right here needs to be facing the top. And also be, be mindful of this o-ring. It does tend to fall out when replacing. And there we go. Number hand tightening is sufficient. Uh, so once you have your filters installed, um, obviously I'm in an office setting, I can't show you the next part. What you're going to want to do is uh, next flush out your uh, RO membrane. So you're going to need a garden hose, preferably a three quarter inch garden hose. And which is going to bring water through the carbon pre-filter and then into the RO. First time setting up, you're going to want to flush this for 15 minutes. This is the only time you'll need to do so unless you're uh, putting in a new filter, new RO, RO membrane. So flush that for 15 minutes, and then you're going to shut off the flush mode, essentially put it into uh, clean mode, which will then allow the water to go up through the RO and into the DI. Uh, you can expect uh, the first time uh, setting this up that you're going to have air in the system, so you're going to purge that air out. And this is the only time that you're going to need to worry about that. So give it a few, few minutes to purge all the air out, and then you'll have pure water coming out of your DI. Over this, uh, Helps getting your arrival set up. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me at 303-663-1779. Thank you.